What is up, Aquarius? Almost 12 a.m. on my side. Um, I just can't sleep. I tell you, every time I see the moon goddess, she just gives me so much energy, so much energy. And as your energy is getting stronger or it needs to be getting stronger, somebody else's energy is getting weaker. I just want to say thank you to my spiritual sisters that support me, um, whether it's a conversation, any type of donation, anything that you do, I just want to say thank you. I also definitely want to um, say thank you to my spiritual familia. Y'all are the best. Even though we may not talk every day and we are spread out, y'all are the best, y'all. I am definitely recovering even stronger than I was before. I'm tapping into different things. I'm having dreams about different visions. Um, things are taking, are really <laughs> taking over me. And um, I'm kind of glad because that means that I am moving from one stage to another and you may be doing the same thing. For those who do not know me, my name is Spiritual Star 111. Please only take what resonates with this message, all right? If this message is not for you, then do not make a story fit, okay? Do not make a story fit if this message is not for you at all. Um, and that's just on um, Mary Had a Little Lamb, all right? Use at your own discernment. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box. If you need any type of clarity on anything that you have questions about, you definitely can hit me up. Um, for my phone number, my email, and all that good stuff, okay? So, Archangel Michael, I ask that you use me in the highest white light. As you choose my words at this time, Archangel Michael, I ask that you bring everybody forward to peace, love, and light. Anybody that is unsure of themselves or needs some type of clarity and wants some type of guidance from me, I ask that you bring them to me. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, the most important universe. All right, so let's tap into this energy. Now, a lot of you that have seen the moon goddess or you have released whatever that you need to release to the moon goddess at this time, just know that the moon goddess hears you. Um, whoever was on my live yesterday, I will not go into detail because everybody is not going to understand what happened, what was taking place. But whoever was on my live yesterday, seen everything that the moon goddess was doing. You've seen the different... Um, aspects of the live and all that good stuff so you know that it is true and it is real i just wanted to tap into the energy because as you are getting more stronger and you are being uplifted from any type of black magic or whatever else somebody is trying to do or slander your name and spells keep showing his face um somebody is getting weaker okay Somebody is definitely getting weaker. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be however you, whoever you want to put this story where it resonates. Somebody is definitely getting weaker because see, they're trying, they was trying to play with you with the fate her. I love that scene. Every time I see here and, and look at this deck, if you've ever seen the movie Drag Me to Hell, and I didn't mention this several times if you've been watching me, but you know how she tells the girl, soon you will come to me. Individuals that come back to you, the only reason why they're coming back to you is because they don't know what to do with themselves. They could be hearing things. They could be seeing things. They could be wondering, how are you, you know, keeping yourself up? How are you doing this? How are you doing that? And the reason is because you're putting the work in or you are that gifted and you are a witch. Okay. I don't like to specify too much on that because it's either you are or you not. Okay. But somebody is definitely getting weaker. Yeah. Good luck. We seen the black cat yesterday. Plain as day. We seen the black cat yesterday. And by you actually, you know, making that decision to walk into your purpose, because you have to keep in mind, nobody can sit there and withhold you from your destiny. Nobody can sit there and tell you what you need to do or do this and that. We can advise you, you know, of what you need to do. But whoever that was trying to hold you of your purpose, or whoever that was trying to um, decide your fate at this time, it's not working. It's definitely not working. <laughs> definitely not working. Yeah, by you being authentic, it was already handwritten. It was definitely already handwritten for you. Nobody can change the chapter of your life. They are really in the illusion if they think that they can. And by you actually making somebody weaker with the omen here, thank you, Spirit. By you sitting here making somebody weaker, you're not doing it intentionally. 
you're doing it because spirit is giving you that much power. All right. I don't know what's crying outside, but when I said that, somebody is definitely getting weaker. <laughs> yeah, with nature. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was a baby crying, a cat crying, a dog crying. Somebody is definitely getting weaker. And it's, it's nothing that you have to do. You are the master. And see, they gambled you. You could be some type of healer. And whoever that tried to put some type of spell on you, they messed up because of the simple fact they never knew that you was protected. They never knew that you was protected. And by you actually being protected and you actually being a master, it's backlashing on people. Mm -hmm. And people will soon separate themselves from you because of the simple fact they can't take it. It's like a it's like a double side mirror, but instead of you getting the after effects, they are getting everything that they have said about you, everything that they have done to you, everything that they have thought about you, evil thoughts, they are getting that. By me actually hearing that crying outside, that's definitely confirmation. Definitely confirmation. You have to watch who you play with. You really have to watch who you play with. Yeah. You have to watch who you play with. Because you never know. You never know if you're setting yourself up to be torn into pieces. By you actually changing Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. And... Somebody feeling like they trying to put some perceptive over you. You have patience within yourself. Some of you need to change. Y'all are too loving. Some of you need to still be from a loving space, but you need to let individuals know not to play with you. Because what happens is people feel like they can get you. Like, it's funny to them when you sit there and say, I don't want to talk to you no more. And then all of a sudden, they you know, they come back and then y'all talk again. It's, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Everything's funny. Everything's funny. But at the same time, all you're doing is having patience. A lot of y'all are watching what to do. But really, like I stated last night, a lot of intervals, a lot of individuals, intervals, probably that too, but a lot of interval, individuals... <laughs> The laugh is on them because when they come back into your life, they bring abundance to you. I told you this before. You wonder why somebody come back and you turn them down while you get blessed. You wonder why somebody come back and you talk to them while you get blessed. You wonder why you, you already figured out the game for somebody and you still get blessed. You wonder. Yeah. The joke is on them. Clarity. Crystal ball. I'm trying to tell you and your ancestors with this message is definitely letting you know that this is accurate. Some of your ancestors leave y'all feathers or you may dream of feathers or whatever the case may be at this time. But at the same time, somebody that was trying to cloud your thoughts, somebody that was trying to bring you down, somebody that was trying to stop your abundance, all they're doing is adding to it. You're getting more powerful. Mm -hmm. you're getting more elevated you're getting more ascending while they're descending yeah yeah and that's the truth okay <laughs> that's the truth you see how on this card how mastery how he's elevated this man is elevated he got his legs crossed and he's elevated. This is how some of you are, Aquarius. Y'all are elevated. So tell somebody when to win a chicken dinner on that. That's why when people run, let them run. Because the only reason why they running because they know. They seek the wrong person. They know exactly what they done. They know exactly what they said. They know exactly that every time they come back into your life, it's just like, damn, 
I can't never shake this person. No matter what I do, no matter what I said, you better start thinking of this person as a long lost cousin. You better start thinking of this person as a long lost cousin that you don't even know or you, you barely know. Some of these people are like pet cemetery. They come back and they're not even the same. With the death card and the toil and labor, by you actually putting the end to this and working hard towards whatever you want to work hard towards, you'll see exactly what I'm saying, Aquarius. You'll definitely see exactly what I'm saying, message. You may not get this message right now because it hasn't happened in your life, but this is a timeless read. And at the same time, this goes out to many people, um, not just yourself. But at the same time, stop thinking of these individuals that slow down, for real, because spirit is um, ascending you. Spirit is definitely ascending you. Your ancestors are definitely ascending you at this time for the community card. They're definitely putting you out there. Things that you can't do, things that you don't even think that you can do. Like, say if there's a position at work you want to apply for, but you don't know if you're going to get the position, so you don't want to apply for it. This is the time to apply for positions. This is the time to do everything that you can at your might. Your ancestors is are backing you up at this time. Anything that you want to do. Anything. Say if you want to take that loan out for that business, do it. Say if you want to move cross country, do it. Anything that you have on your mind at this time, Aquarius, it is time to do it. I'm telling you. Lead them where they at. You better start considering them as a long lost, long lost cousin. Distant horizons in reverse. You got unexpected income here. Spirit is definitely, definitely, definitely going to make sure your needs are met. Sometimes people feel like since their stuff is delayed that it's declined. It's not. Just because your stuff is delayed does not mean that it's declined at this time. It doesn't. Lead them people that's in concern, in concern over you. Because you are elevating, you are ascending, all right? Spiritual knowledge. You are no longer disappointed with false people. It's like a false person could come around you and you just laugh it off. You just brush it off or you need to. You need to, okay? And it still popped out. You definitely need to. Leave these cousins. Start considering somebody a long lost cousin. If they don't want to talk to you, if they don't want to think about you, if they don't want to call you, if they don't want to sleep with you, if they don't want to make you a poor and okay, I never knew you anyway. I never knew you anyway. So keep that in mind. You're not chained to anybody. You're not chained to anybody. A lot of these people don't even put their self first with the official person, so they don't even know what's coming their way. They don't even know how good their life could be because they don't want to know. They don't want to value that self-love, that self-care, and that self-worth. They don't. But you do. By you actually making that change... Individuals that feel like they can decide your fate or individuals that feel like your destiny is not worthy. What spirit is given to you, you shouldn't be worthy of. Who are you to say any of that? By you actually putting the hard work into this Aquarius, overcoming any type of sickness, overcoming any type of stress, overcoming any type of depression, overcoming anything that you have ever overcame. All right, man or woman. You don't owe nobody no explanation because you're changing for you. And spirit is changing you too. That's the problem. Everybody wants a piece of the pie, but they don't even know the ingredients.
get a couple pride cards. It's almost Juneteenth. Almost Juneteenth, y'all. A lot of y'all got fathers that y'all don't even want to say happy Father's Day to. A lot of y'all don't not even connect it to your fathers. A lot of y'all fathers are definitely gone and my condolences to you. You know, whatever the case may be. But Juneteenth is approaching. Keep yourself aligned at this time, Aquarius. Whatever color that suits you. Whatever color that you need to wear. This is the year to be shitting on people. This is the year to make the impossible possible. This is the year to make the unbelievable believable. This is the year. Don't let nobody sit there and, and second guess what you got going on. Whether you win a case, lose a case. Whether you get a job or you don't get a job. Whether you get more money or you don't get more money. Do what's best for you, Aquarius. Period. Eight of Cups. It is your time to shine, sugar. Three of Wands is here with the Sun card and the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. And you got some individuals out there, they feel like if you don't love them, that you don't have an opportunity with the Seven of Cups in reverse. But little do they know your Ten of Cups is already set. It's already placed. So whatever commitment with the Four of Wands and the... The devil card, whatever that they thought that they had over you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nine of Swords energy. Keep your strength up at this time, Aquarius. Leave those emotions. The moon goddess is telling you what's up with the Queen of Swords. Cut that ass off. Consider this person as a long-distant cousin. Consider this person as a long-distant. I don't know. Queen of Swords. The moon got this ain't playing. Release it. She got something better coming for you. She got something better coming for you. With the Ace of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands and the Five of Wands. Love me or hate me, I'm still going to rise on top. Let them love you, let them hate you. The moon got this is letting you know you still going to rise on top. It we we it worked, it didn't work. We 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 done it and it didn't work. And now it's time to move forward with the moon card. Two of Pentacles. We we went together, we we had relations, we did whatever that we done. It didn't work. Now it's time to move forward. You got so much more opportunity. I think that's a dog. Every dog has his day. And somebody may miss you. But the reason that somebody miss you, it ain't so much of um, just because of, you know, oh, I miss you because, you know, I don't really have nobody else in my plate. Th these people, they just don't have the realness. They have the fakeness. Two cards, please. Thank you. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. Nothing will come of this situation. And meditate and contemplate. One more spirit. Ooh. Show the world the real you, Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Nothing is set in stone. Show the world where you can, you can, um, you know, wear makeup or wear weave or whatever the case may be. And show the world that you 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 good, to, you know, doing it your way too. Some of y'all got a new romantic cycle. Somebody definitely crying outside. They've been crying the whole time I've been doing this read. Some type of animal or somebody making noise or whatever the case may be. Trying to be a distraction. The moon goddess is like, ain't no distractions. Ain't no distractions. Not no more. All right? Continue some peace, love, and light. Continue on staying healthy, staying high vibrational. Definitely staying safe at this time, y'all. All right? <laughs> staying blessed. All right? And just staying abundance. Mm-hmm. And until we meet again, whether it's like time or the next, namaste.